When Pam Thompson retired and became AONE's CEO Emeritus and Maureen Swick took up the reins as CEO, I was happy to step in as AONE president. It was a little earlier than I anticipated, but I'm honored to serve. We owe Pam a great deal of thanks. During her 16-year tenure, AONE grew in members and influence. Her legacy is seen through our strategic focus to make sure the voice of nursing leadership is heard. And we're in great hands with Dr. Maureen Swick. She begins with her fresh perspectives from the field and a host of new ideas that we're beginning to implement. One of which is the AONE's foundation focus on nursing leadership research. Dr. Mary Naylor was given the 2016 Researcher Award for her interdisciplinary research to improve the quality of care, decrease unnecessary hospitalizations, and reduce healthcare costs for vulnerable community-based elders. Also, small grants were awarded to Dr. Leslie Kelly for her work on compassion fatigue, and Netta Narkowitz for her work on performance incentive programs. And this year's foundation lecture was presented by Dr. Sean Clark on baccalaureate nursing education. Over $70,000 was raised in 2016. These funds support the education programs, research grants, and operations of the foundation. This was a great year for AONE membership. We reached 10,000 members. We continue to support the pipeline of nurse leaders and executives. Also, we're moving beyond the four walls of the hospital. We want to be there for nurse leaders across the care continuum. Connecting our members is just as important as our sheer numbers. The new Leader to Leader online networking community has been very active. Every day, members are learning from one another. We are not alone in our struggles and we can seek the support and knowledge of others to address the issues we face each day. It was great to be in Texas, my home state, for AONE's 2016 annual meeting. We hear that networking is one of the best things that comes out of our meetings, and we're so proud and honored to bring together thousands of nurse leaders each year. With our certifications for nurse managers and executives and emerging leader and system CNE programs, we're committed to education for nurse leaders at all levels. In 2016, AONE contributed many new resources to the field. Based on a day of dialogue in 2015, guiding principles were published on crisis management. We also released a white paper on the role of system CNEs and the second edition of the AONE Salary and Compensation Report. We also continued our work to mitigate workplace violence. AONE is active in the Hospitals Against Violence Initiative with the American Hospital Association. This program works to address all forms of violence in our hospitals and communities. AONE's advocacy work continues to grow. I had the opportunity to participate in our second Advocacy Day. We met with 65 congressional offices to share our thoughts on legislation important to the field. We also collaborated on efforts for advanced practice nurses in the VA to gain full practice authority. We co-developed a toolkit to support the work of, and over 900 comments were posted on the VA's proposed rule. AONE is always looking forward, and we have a lot in store for the upcoming year. We'll celebrate our 50th anniversary throughout 2017 by highlighting the past accomplishments of AONE and how the field of nursing leadership has transformed, we'll start to see what the next 50 years will bring. I'd like to thank our committees, our task forces, and our board of directors. They work throughout the year for AONE, and we couldn't be as influential as we are without them. And also, I want to thank our members. Thank you for supporting AONE and nursing leadership. We look forward to continuing to serve you. Let's go for another 50. <laughs>